the holiday season fast approaching these prime tourist sites, we all want to know if the festive season is going to be severely impacted. Let's discuss this now with political analyst and host of The Fix here on ENCA, Karima Brown. Hi there, Karima. So do you know when we're going to have another family meeting? Uh, yes, Sally. I managed to speak to people uh, close to the process um, in the executive, in the presidency, and also with the governing party. And I have been told uh, very reliably that the president is indeed going to be addressing uh, the nation tomorrow evening. Um, and it is going to focus on uh, the distressing rise in COVID numbers uh, uh, in the Eastern Cape as well as in the Western Cape. Um, so one, we can confirm that he is indeed addressing South Africans tomorrow. In fact, Sally, I was told that the meeting was actually set down for today. As you know, Cabinet sat today, uh, but it was decided at the last minute that uh, the uh, meeting will in fact uh, be taking place uh, tomorrow or rather the address uh, to South Africans will be happening uh, tomorrow evening. And as as you know, the president has a full schedule. He's also potentially facing a vote of no confidence mm. motion in the National Assembly tomorrow afternoon. Yes, of course, as Lindsay explaining to us, that rather hangs in the balance. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to put him off, though. No, not at all. I think there's deep concern. If we take, for example, the comments made by the health minister uh, and also the fact that cabinet uh, today, uh, my understanding is discussed, um, you know, the different scenarios, uh, particularly in places like the Nelson Mandela Bay, Sally, it looks as if, um, you know, there are going to be new lockdown regulations uh, in places uh, such as Nelson Mandela Bay, where mm. uh, it is, of course, identified as a hotspot. But the other area is the garden route. But my understanding is that we are going to see new regulations in Nelson Mandela Bay because the situation there has gone completely out of hand, Sally. All right. So uh, what I want to, to ask is whether you've been given any insight. Uh, are we looking at uh, the kind of lockdowns that might prevent provincial boundary crossings, that might close hotels, that might close restaurants, that might close beaches and holiday resorts. We know there are some closures of sort of public gatherings and sports facilities along the garden route at the moment. But do you think government is even vaguely considering such drastic measures once again? Sally, when I was making my inquiries before I came on live, I was told by uh, one person very close to the process that I need to go and do a bit of homework and look at countries uh, such as Italy, Spain, and sections of Germany and what they did, um, you know, when the second surge happened, because we are going to have that kind of an approach. So it's going to be a localized approach, um, as was indicated uh, by the health minister and others, uh, you know, before. Um, and what what is going to happen is that this specific things that's going to be looked at. So, for example, uh, the curfew around restaurants and cabins and gatherings of large crowds, that is definitely going to be an issue. Now, if you look at what happened in um, America, uh, you would have seen that the second surge, about 10% of those uh, infection rates happened in places like bars and, and restaurants. So I think the hospitality industry, and particularly uh, restaurants, are going to be affected, Sally, uh, and also so taverns. The other thing that I think will be affected is the question of the times of the lockdown and the curfew. And what I was also told, Sally, is that there's a very real possibility that we could relook the way in which alcohol is sold. So as you know, um, when we last spoke, when the president addressed us, Sally, there was the opening up of the liquor industry and mm, sales mm. to normal. My understanding is in places like Nelson Mandela Bay and the Garden Route, what you're going to have is a potentially, again, alcohol sales on, from Monday to Thursday with that potential 5 p.m. curfew. So those are the issues that are likely to be addressed. So it's the question of um, restaurants, bars, 
um, you know, and, and uh, things like taverns and, and clubs. The other issue is going to be definitely be the question of social distancing. Uh, and the message that um, I'm told government is going to emphasize and the president is going to, um, you know, speak a lot about tomorrow night is the question of the rules that need to be obeyed. So yeah. social distancing, wearing of masks, washing of hands. Uh, and of course, the big message, because South Africans haven't really been behaving as they Correct. should say. So, Karima, I think what I'm hearing from you is that the kind of drastic level five lockdown is absolutely not on the cards. But as you say, a strict curfew, so goodbye New Year's Eve gatherings, uh, restaurants and taverns closing earlier, uh, alcohol restricted sales but not an outright ban. Karima, we also know that mid-December the Disaster Management Act expires. Are you expecting that to be extended as well? And the reason I ask that, of course, is because that will allow the SANDF to do the very important task of actually monitoring people and making sure Absolutely they obey the sorry. curfew. Absolutely. Look, there has to be a legislative framework for the government to be able to enact these rules. Otherwise, they can be challenged in court. Um, so it stands to reason that the national disaster uh, management regulations will have to be extended simply because it will allow for the suspension of the rights that citizens and businesses have under normal periods. Uh, and if we continue defining what is happening in South Africa as a disaster, it gives the government the legislative and the legal framework uh, to act and to force businesses to close. And that um, has to be in place for the measures to be enforced and to be enacted. Now, remember when we spoke the last time, Sally, we spoke about the fact that so much depends on our individual behavior, whether we have a good Christmas, whether we can, you know, gather. It, it has to be driven by personal behavior. And South Africans have dropped the ball on that score in the same way government has dropped the ball on community. So I think what you're going to see is um, the national disaster regulation staying within, um, you know, on, on, on uh, the um, rule books. Um, and it's probably going to be extended because it will allow the system uh, to function. It will allow the army to operate uh, in ways that it wouldn't if the disaster isn't declared uh, and isn't, uh, you know, officially in effect. Thank you so much, uh, Karima Brown, political analyst and host of The Fix. She has very reliable sources telling us this evening that the president is holding that family meeting tomorrow evening. New restrictions will come into place along the garden route and around Nelson Mandela Bay. And it will not be a total outright ban of everything, but there will be. She, she is being told curfew restrictions, restrictions on taverns and restaurants, and a relook at alcohol and when it is sold. So... Um, Karima has impeccable sources, so uh, I think we will uh, continue to explore those options. Thank you so much, Karima. Now, this 